What's up there, buddy? Today we're gonna look at a kind of a unique car here, right? Is it unique? It's the Jeep Patriot. It looks kind of unique, and it looks kind of fun to take off-road or even drive into the mall. And uh, yeah, we'll do a condition report on this used Jeep Patriot today. I believe it's a 2014, and I'll go over the mileage and all that in just a moment. But good looking car, definitely has the Jeep look. I like the fog lights down in the bottom bumper there. You don't get to see them a whole lot with those lights down there. This is the first one I've filmed, I think, that has those lights in the bottom bumper. If I see any imperfections, dents, stings, or scratches, I'll point them out to you on camera. So far, looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the wheels. And it also, just so you know, it's a limited package. Alloy wheels, good looking tires, plenty of tread on those tires. They're all season good years. And a nice looking alloy wheel that's 17 inch in size. You can't go wrong with a five star. The only imperfection I've seen so far is the antenna here. Looks like it got caught up in a garage door. Who knows? I'm sure it still works for your AM, FM radio. Uh, this Patriot Limited has a price tag of $9,984, 140322 on the mileage. So a little bit higher mileage, but the price does reflect that with a 2.4 liter under the hood. Does have tinted windows on it all the way around, which is nice. Roof racks up top. Let's look in the back. Pretty clean. Again, it's a Limited, so uh, it should have some nice little features on the inside. We'll go ahead and open this up. Do have some scratches right there, which is kind of odd, right behind the, uh, those, I don't know though, they almost look like paint marks, but anyways. Um, no third row seat in the Patriot, this is just a small crossover vehicle, but plenty of cargo space in the back and back seats that fold down for a 40-60 back seat split. Let's take a look and see what we got going on in the cockpit of the Patriot. Well, right off the get-go, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, auto up and down on driver's side. Um, leather interior on your Limited. I'm not sure if that's real leather or not. Let me take a feel. Nope, that is leatherette, like you get on a BMW. And um, still, though, some people, you know, say that leatherette is actually better than leather, considering it's easier to keep clean and doesn't stain and all that. You know, if something spills on it, you just wipe it off. Uh, it does have real leather on your steering wheel, all your buttons and controls. Automatic transmission, CD player, auxiliary port. Pretty clean car, for the most part. Not bad at all. Plenty of room in the back for the kids and the family members driving in the Patriot. So be a Patriot and drive a Patriot, if that's the only reason you're wanting to buy a Patriot, and come on down to an American car dealership called Marchant Chevrolet in the grassroots of, of America, in Ravenel, South Carolina. We even have a bridge downtown, which is the largest bridge I've ever rode on, that is called the Arthur Ravenel Bridge. So come down to Ravenel, South Carolina to Marchant Chevy today. And if you don't live here, make sure you go online to MarchantChevy.com and look at all the great vehicles they have to offer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and let me know what you think of the Patriot. We'll see you soon.